Good evening students. Welcome to today's revision mathematics. Uh, our question for today comes from KCP 2010. Question number 42. A cyclist took 15 minutes to travel from his home to town at a speed of 18 kilometers per hour. He took 24 minutes to travel back home from town to his home. What was his speed in kilometers per hour? In kilometers per hour from town to his home. So he started by finding uh, finding the distance from home to town. And the distance is gotten by uh, speed times time. Our speed is 18 kilometers per hour. And our time is 15 minutes. And because this one is given in hours, you put this 15 over 60 to change into hours. So to get a distance, to get a distance, uh, you are saying 18 times 15 over 60. So by 15, 1, by 15, 4. By 2, uh, by 2, 2, by 2, 9. So you have distance is 9 over 2, which is equals to 4.5 kilometers. So this is the distance from, so distance from home to town is 4.5. And it is constant when he is coming, he is going back. So when you are asked to do it, when you are told that he took 24 minutes to travel back from town to his home, the distance is the same, 45. So what do you do to get the speed? To get speed, speed is equal to distance over, uh, distance over time taken. So what is the distance? 4.5. Distance is 4.5, which is the same as 45 over 10. What is time? The time it took is 24 minutes. And because of this one is in our in, in uh, this one is in kilometers, this one you put over C over 60. So to get speed, you are going to say 45 over 10 divided by 24 over 60, which translates to 45 over 10 times now the reciprocal 60 over 24. And this is 0 goes with this 0 by 6, 1 by 6, 4. So you have 45 over 4, which translates to 11 and 1 over 4. These are kilometers per hour. That is our answer. Let us confirm whether we are correct. So you see, the our answer is choice C. 11 and a quarter kilometers per hour. So our answer is correct. So when you are doing this question, when you are doing question on time and speed, you just need to know the formula for calculating distance, which is speed times time. The formula for calculating speed, which is the distance over time. And be accurate in your working. So, uh, I hope you have understood. Let us meet next time as we tackle a question on a different topic. Thank you. Have a good day.